In a recent video, I took a look at a safety vest that was basically a high-vis vest that had strips of LEDs in it to make it even more high-vis. And inside was this quite nice uh, three-cell lithium battery pack. And it came with the option of chargers. It came with a, a mains voltage charger and it came with the vehicle chargers. And these all say input 12 to 24 volts, output 12.6 volt, 1000 milliamp. This is a universal 100 to 240 volt, uh, and, but the same 12.6 volt, 1000 milliamp output. And in the circuitry, when you plug it into the jack on the device, I've got one of the little jacks here and it's still in its sleeve, it basically puts the power straight out to the battery. So this is basically connecting straight to the battery to charge it. And I wonder why they were selling them off, because they were selling them off very cheaply. Uh, we were just into it to get the battery packs out of these because it was quite useful, and the chargers. But then I discovered that the low voltage chargers aren't what they seem. And although they may look identical, it makes me wonder, as this what's actually resulted in these all being sold off because there's a lot of work in the vests but if you look at these they've got roughly the same sort of shape but they've got the different ends um, they have the same labeling the uh, 12 24 volt this one does have a model number but this one has a sort of like the sort of pits in it but reminds me of like a, a pool table the sort of like the, all the balls lined up and this one's got the deeper pit, so it's three different chargers. Let's explore inside them, because one of them is not. At least one of them is not ideal. So this one has a little red LED in it. And that's a clue. Uh, this one is a clear LED, and this one has a diffused LED. So to open these, you unscrew this bit at the end, a fuse pops out. You may need to change the fuse if you use it in 12, 24 volt. Well, you may need to change your pants and you may need to change the cab of your vehicle if the battery's burst into flames. Oh, it's just pinged right across there. Because this charger, despite saying for 12 or 24 volts, I thought, oh, that's reasonable. It's got resistors for just 12 volt use, except the resistors are not in circuit. Let me zoom down in this. I shall draw the circuit diagram out for this. It's, oh, it's not going to take long. It's not a good thing. Uh, but there are four resistors, all with identical value. I think they're for theatre. Red, black, red, that's 2K. I'll tell you what, one moment, I'll draw the schematic. The schematic. So here is the car end of things. There's the positive. There's the negative out this, the plug. It goes through a 2-amp fuse, and then it goes up to power the LED with the 2K resistor, and then there's a row of 2k resistor i think they just put the same value in them all just basically because that's what they had it looks as though it may have had been designed to have some sort of resistor to each output but in reality the output to the uh, lithium cell is just right across there and it's got the protection circuit built on but uh, the protection circuit is not there's no current limiting here and if the lithium cells were low, they'd be around about 9 volts or less. Or if they were fully discharged, it'd be about 7.5 volts. Um, that's a sort of cutoff point. So then if you plugged it in, it would just smash current into that. Um, and if you plugged it into 24 volts, it would be extremely bad news. I hope, I'm not sure the protection circuitry would do. I think it would kick in when it saw a serious overcurrent situation. That fuse would probably blow. Uh, so that is an abomination. Now, there's this thing that uh, manufacturers who get products made in China, this is a um, Dutch product. It's uh, designed uh, and manufactured by a company in the Netherlands. And, oh, there's a, there's a wire soldered across the outside of this. Shit. <laughs> oh, 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 maybe the fuse did keep blowing. Oh, shit. Oh, I swore. Uh, hold on. I have to. I have to make notes of this. I have to make notes of when I swear. I swore, just to remind me to tell. Uh, I do it quite a lot, but I'm supposed to actually mark my videos when I say things like that. I wasn't really expecting to say it with these. What's this going to be? It is. Oh, they've saved money. It's got a smash circuit board. Oh, and there's one resistor, really, 1.5k, brown, green, red, in series the LED, and it's just going straight out again. Wow. Uh, I was saying there, there's this horrible thing that 
when people get stuff manufactured in China, the the big companies have to send somebody across to supervise that and check all this stuff that they deliver because you just never know what you're getting. Here is a big fuse. This is feeling a lot better already. This might be a real one. In fact, is there going to be a little screw under here, maybe? Nope. Let's have it open. Here we go. This is the proper thing by the look of it. We have a regulator chip. Um, we have a transistor here, boosting it up. So this might be actually for a fairly decent current because that is, does seem to be coupled to that. And we've got a little transistor connected to possibly the LEDs. Yes, it is, which will be the end of charge. It will just be a, basically a simple voltage reference just to say when the current stops, probably. It will just be measuring current across this resistor, I'd guess. And this resistor and output may actually be uh, to limit the current. I'm not really sure if it's going to be used for that. Oh, this resistor here could be a factor in that. Uh, or that's the sense resistor for the actual switching device. So m maybe this is regulating the current as well. But this is the real thing. But but what happens is the factory manufactures uh, a product and they get it made in China. There's no saying what you're actually going to get back. Um, they may skimp, they may change a component, they may improvise, they may do what this hap has happened here. They may substitute that something that looks identical but saved them a lot of money when they send it out. But in reality, they've taken all the safety out of the product. And uh, that's why there's a local company here in the Isle of Man called Strix, and they make kettle switch mechanisms. And the reason they can still manufacture stuff like that on the Isle of Man is because the manufacturers for that safety critical component that is going to turn that kettle off and not burn people's houses down they want it to be manufactured by a company that operates proper standards, the correct materials, tests everything, and is a bit officious with the paperwork, but uh, gets the result. So the moral of the story is here, if you ever go into manufacturing, never fully trust um, overseas manufacturers to supply what you were expecting. Uh, that is quite dire, particularly the wire soldered across the fuse. Because the previous one, well, the, actually the previous wire is still in there. They've just beefed it up a bit. That's horrific. Uh, but there we go. That's, uh, that's an education. You don't really want to basically stick a lithium battery pack directly across 24 volts with no current limiting. That's just plain freaky.